there has been a growing concern for mental health issues around the world. Here in the United States, one in five people experience an anxiety disorder. Dr. Johnny Figueroa, a researcher here at Loma Linda University Health, has found a very interesting correlation between mental health and diet here in his initial study. Hi there, thanks so much for having us in your lab today. Thank you, thank you for coming. Awesome, well tell me a little bit about your study. We've been fascinated by the effects of lifestyle practices and mental health outcomes for many years. So what we did in this study was use a rat model of obesity and evaluating what is the impact of early life obesity in mental health outcomes in animals. In the study, we have two different sets of diets. The first diet was normal diet, which is for a normal rodent or rat. The rats in the experimental group were eating a high saturated fat diet that is very similar to the standard American diet and is obesogenic. So you basically had one set of rats eating very healthy and another set eating fast food Correct. every night. Yep. So eating only those high fat diets, high saturated fat diets, was sufficient to induce these changes in the animals. They tend to be more passive, they don't move as much, and usually they tend not to explore as much as normal rats do. So those rats didn't ever experience any type of trauma, but what they were eating elicited this response. Right. Now, when we expose them to stress, the saturated fat and high sugar diet rats show really high impairments in brain function compared to the healthy diet rats. So tell me a little bit about what's next. What does this mean for humans? That is very exciting. So one of the things that we will really like to accomplish, now that we know that a bad diet can affect vulnerability to stress and stress-related disorders, one of the things that we want is to see if we can reverse that process. Find lifestyle interventions, diet, exercise, sleep, you know, approaches that can really restore the brain, bring it back to a normal state, and contribute to the health of patients. Wow, so even if Maybe as a child, I was eating a high fat diet by adulthood. If I was using the right lifestyle interventions, I might be able to reverse some of those mental health effects. Correct, correct. That's what, one of the hopes that we have in the laboratory. That's why Dr. Figueroa's research is so important. Through more research and study, I'm hoping we will learn more to be able to improve the lives of those who are impacted by anxiety.